सो हाई एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम फैजान आई एम मनोज सो या गाइज इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल बी रिएक्टिंग टू वीडियो टू ऑन टू एन इन्फॉर्मेशन वीडियो विच से वाई पाकिस्तान कैन बिकम द नंबर वन ट्रेवल डेस्टिनेशन इन द वर्ल्ड आई विल बी लिंक लिविंग द लिंक ऑफ दिस वीडियो गाइज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो यू कैन चेक दिस आउट इफ यू वॉन्ट सी इट इज नॉट अपलोडेड बाई एनी पाकिस्तानी इट्स बाई समथिंग इफ आई नॉट रॉन्ग Right. You mean uh, someone who did visit Pakistan? Yeah, okay. probably. Uh, before starting that, I want to see. I didn't really know that uh, this could become uh, like Pakistan could become number one travel destination. Sure. Let's let's, let, let's figure it out. So we are going to check this out, and by then you click on the subscribe button and for uh, subscribe our channel and yeah. click on the bell icon so that you don't miss on any updates. <coughs> so my name Sorry is Aisha. 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 I traveled Pakistan far and wide, north to south and east to west. My videos and content about the country Pakistan? have garnered millions of views, but I'm not here to talk about myself so nice. today. Today, <clears throat> I'm here to talk about what I've seen of Pakistan and what I believe the future of Pakistan's tourism can be. See, most of my Pakistan friends start to chuckle when I tell them this. but it's really no joke i believe that pakistan can be the world's number one tourism destination it really can let me give you a few arguments as to why i think so starting with the mountains of pakistan one of the greatest assets that we have as this country hmm the angles beyond the current resorts of manjaba and nota why can't ski resorts dot the peaks of these mountains And beyond that, looking at the beautiful landscapes of Skardun, Hunza, and Sarat, why can't Pakistan become the next Bhutan or Nepal, with mountaineering and mountain trekking infrastructures that rival those of its neighboring countries? With eight of the world's 20 tallest mountains, this should be the epicenter of the world's trekking, adventure, and mountain tourism. And just look at the mountains of the south. This is Hemal National Park in Balochistan. Now, why can't this become the next Grand Canyon? Just imagine tourists trekking, hiking, and camping among these beautiful nature-made structures. And while we're in Balochistan, how can we forget about the beaches? The entire coast of the Arabian Sea, with the right attitude and vision. could become one of the world's prime beach destinations I for all that. seasons imagine five star resorts private island is it possible is it possible next up culture and the arts both sindh and the capital of culture lahore have so much to offer the craftsmanship and artistry and handicrafts that i've seen are unlike anywhere else in the world this could be pakistan's prime export and imagine thousands hundreds of thousands of tourists bringing bits of pakistan with them back home to share with their communities religious tourism pakistan has such an incredible islamic heritage and i know that the sufi trail of sindh can appeal not just to Muslim tourists but to any tourists interested in history and culture. Pakistan also happens to be the birthplace of Sikhism and the travels of Guru Nanak. It's also home to some of the most important Hindu sites in the world as well as Buddhist stupas and remains of a rich Buddhist heritage. History. Why do more people wow. around the world know that Pakistan is where the world's oldest civilization the indus valley civilization was found why can't nakhon necropolis rangpur fort or mahendra gari become the next machu picchu or angkor wat what exactly is preventing pakistan from becoming the world's top destination for history buffs and of course let's not forget about the food pakistan has such a rich culture of food and cuisine nice. <laughs> and the diversity from province to province is just you probably can't eat anything take lahore and karachi where are the no. michelin star restaurants 
Why can't these places become some of the world's top culinary hubs for food? What is that? Well, I couldn't really see something like this. This is my pastime. It's going to take so much time, effort, dedication, and investment to bring this vision into reality. Cool. But I know that the gifts that Pakistan has been blessed with are endless. This is how I see the future of tourism in Pakistan. And I hope that you share my vision. That was a cool video. Um, I liked how Eva, she is, she narrated the whole story um, and she laid her perspective on why Pakistan can really become the number one travel destination in the world. Now, before I really dive into Faizan, uh, more into reviewing and reacted to this top, uh, this video here, mm. I didn't really thought, thought or even give, give a thought, had a chance to give a thought about uh, Pakistan. I thinking, you know, Pakistan could really become... Or even Pakistan is like a, you know one of the top destinations. Maybe there well. are many other. <coughs> yeah, but yeah, but but it turns out after watching this video, there's really a lot of hopes there. You don't you think the video was really good, uh, especially the cinematography? How, yeah, I how love the, the whole video has been filmed. Uh, but yeah, this could have been uh, you know just uh, one thing if she could have done in this, I would really like this. If she could have added the names of the places, uh, she did mention a few, them. but uh, she didn't really. I don't know if it, this has been in the description or not. Like uh, mm. the different sites which have been added there. Now, uh, guys, if you are a Pakistani, please let us know what are the different uh, sites with what are the different shots uh, have Make been sure taken in this video. Let us know. I would be really interested to know that. Uh, so that is one thing I would like to say. Uh, I hope like uh, most of the parts are uh, you know shot on somewhere in the northern and the central yeah, part yeah, of yeah. Pakistan because the southern part, as she says, has the beaches and all. I think mm -hmm. Balochistan. And one more uh, crazy thing, guys, that I saw in this video, and I, I just can't you know handle myself like how to react to this. That I really don't know that pa Balochistan. Uh, would be having yeah. beaches. I thought it's like a landlocked uh, province of Pakistan, just like because we have Rajasthan uh, and yeah, right. Punjab, right? I thought it should have been like Rajasthan, like f full with deserts and uh, yeah. Uh, what do you and call the video include all those that beaches. kind of topography. And all that. But when she said Balochistan has beaches, so that really and blew that's my nice mind. Beach beach Lahore also somewhere. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Lahore is in North Pakistan, so this this should be North or Central. Pakistani regions. I oh, hope there was a part two or something. Yeah. I'm saying North yeah. Pakistan because I think the Mohenjo-daro civilization is there, which I've found yeah, okay. kind of did speak about that a little bit. There means the remains are there. Yeah, it used to be in that part. I mean, actually, one more thing I really like, like uh, what was that? Uh, some uh, museum she said of Balochistan, right? What mm -hmm. was that? The tall Mahina. figures in yellow colors. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was fascinating to watch. Hmm. For Even me. that tone kind of structure. Yeah, yeah. And one more thing, guys. Uh, I this this video is being shot on iPhone, and uh, in iPhone there is one stock wallpaper. I have to say this, Paisan. And uh, when I saw that the Balochistan beach, you know, somewhere. So th the the beach wallpaper that is there, I see it resembles with the uh, you know that the beach scene which was there of Balochistan. So I'm just wondering, is this Balochistan, uh, that sea beach or what? Whatever beach it that is. Could be because it's the yeah. same place. Right? You notice right, what that she did. the sand was in orange color. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the water looks blue. Here is orange and here is blue. Yeah, yeah. That part I'm saying. Okay. It's, a, it's a very famous wallpaper. There are a lot of things I really picked up in this video, guys. I really like this video. Mm. The video is really short, but yeah, it's a very crisp and full with uh, uh, different you know, uh, it, insightful it things. Only, yeah, insights. Yeah, and information. Yeah, perf Yeah, that's what I have to say. And uh, lastly, when they have made an you know attempt to show the cuisines of Pakistan's as well as we can see, uh, you know there are a lot of uh, non-vegetarian items here, uh, which I would really hope so. Which Anuj uh, <laughs> cannot eat. And vegetarian, hundred <laughs> percent vegetarian. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent vegetarian. So, but yeah, uh, people do eat, people love it's biryani really in India as well. When the uh, shot of biryani. In India, people yeah. love biryani as well. In Hyderabadi India. biryani. Yeah, that's the most famous. So, I think that was uh, the Hyderabadi style biryani, right? Which they were saying in the big, the several styles of biryani. Each and what do you mean varies? Yeah. yeah, is the big uh, pan kind of thing. Not right? pan. Parachas. What is, what is that? I don't know. Just me, I don't know. 
so that that would have been really amazing yeah as i said i'm vegetarian that doesn't make a point for me but since i'm saying because it's a, it's food is a different dietary cuisines uh, i think it's good to comment on that as well and i hope there there, sh there should be even much more varieties of sweets uh, faizan we are neighbors so we can just remember that. that is what i'm saying when there are more videos made like this or if there are already please do recommend us to watch it and uh, there is one scene can you see that uh, it it looks like the great wall of china as well <laughs> The wall is going and also in the beginning of the video where she was walking on a road mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. both of her size it was like you know kind of mountains or kind of mm -hmm. which was so if you if you, you would like to know we are from uh, india and mm -hmm. even in india the handloom culture if we have we have to talk about this so we also have a very predominant handloom culture as well right. uh, the father of nation uh, mahatma gandhi had so really promoted this and he he used to be uh, one of the Uh, great iconaries who used to use promoted this. Uh, uh, so yeah handlooms yeah. were used white you know widely Whites in uh, gujarat see you see she made a this great video all the great efforts which is put in this is clearly visible yeah. hey guys the intro intro when is there i just like the in, the introductory part here the first uh, first minute i guess it's of the video she is walking and she's she's uh, slow running on that street which is a uh, you know landlocked by two sides uh, i i would say like it's uh, altitude mountains are there some on both of the side but it looks really good um, yeah so that is also an amazing thing to see in this video and it's a lot of things to you know really say about this video uh, but yeah uh, before wrapping up this uh, fazan hmm. do you have anything to say else with besides this i think i would really expect more videos you know Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah, we would really love to see more such videos, videos. more such tourism and other information videos of Pakistan. And definitely, one thing worth noticing was also that Sikhism is the birthplace of Sikhism. Yeah, and she also included Hinduism and uh, did she say Jain? Yeah, no, she did. So we remember people from Punjab. Uh, they are allowed to go there uh, for certain days. Uh, hmm. Six, six from Punjab, Indian Punjab. I say, I mean, the Indian Punjab state are allowed to go there. uh pakistan makes a special arrangement provisions for the indian uh, punjabi sikhs uh for the period which goes on Guru and also Nanak. anuj did uh, you know visit that place i mean uh punjab i had visited yeah. i had visited amritsar guys uh, also he he's event. actually also that event uh, he means the wagha border retreat ceremony yeah that one. the india pakistan wagha border retreat i have seen that it did show yeah so yeah i have visited uh, the border yeah. I have seen Pakistan like just uh, 30 40 meters maybe 50 meters. 60 meters meters oh, yeah, yeah it's like from here to the crossroad <laughs> we talk yeah so that was i was so close <laughs> obviously for pakistan is also india also close then uh, it's like amritsar and lahore are all on the boundary there hmm okay. okay so yeah that is one cool thing again so it's like uh, faizan as uh, we know that uh, india is like uh, birthplace to hinduism mm. and then the birthplace to buddhism as well likewise pakistan is the birthplace to uh, sikhism which is a good thing right? and uh, i really like the sufi culture which is yeah, right. uh, found in sindh province of pakistan that is again a good thing to watch the sufi dance culture is mm. horrific right um and what else besides that the dome architectures in the videos i really like them them as well uh, but yeah now after saying you know all the good things uh, what is exactly stopping pakistan from becoming the world number one, number one tourist place. so that is the question guys the only question she has asked to her viewers in the video and again i will be asking the same question to you guys what what is the thing which is stopping uh, pakistan, pakistan from, from becoming, becoming the number one, one country uh, travel destination sorry travel destination in the world what is that one thing so let us know because this is what really matters to us mm. uh, like what is it is it uh, some political uh, reasons or some uh, global misconceptions or some global theories uh, mm. which are which, which are attached with pakistan what is it we really want to know that so that is that that's it for this video guys we'll be seeing you in the uh, next video for the soon which will be making uh, you know some pakistani video might be okay mm. And so also, if you really like this reaction and if you have anything else to say please comment on the uh, comment section. comment box below and please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any updates and with that said until next time you.
Bye-bye. Bye.